Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing today? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me and if you can see me. I do not know why we're in black and white today. That is not me. That is YouTube. Do not know what is causing that one. This is very strange. Yeah, it could be, Arlene. I'm not sure because what I've got laying on the table is exactly what you all saw last week. This is the strangest thing I have ever seen. I'm putting out in color. Yeah, it's very pretty and it is very strange. <laughs> I don't get it. Y'all have to excuse me as she's in the last stages of being in heat. So there's little boy dogs next door and she's like calling them over here, you know, saying, come see me. Because I have a viewer on the camera that says it's going out in color. Hi, Susan. Let me see what I can find here. Nope. This is very strange. Uh, no, it's not my video card and my computer, Pam. Video card, if it was bad, I wouldn't be getting no video at all. So, y'all can see what I'm doing. It's The settings are all right. They're all the same way as they was. Don't ask me. It's the freakiest thing I've ever seen. But that's YouTube. They have their own issues. Hi, Fred. Yeah, let's see if you can chat. Hi, Kaylin. Let's see. Who's in here? Arlene, Jeremy... Marianne, Jill, glad to see you here. Hey, that could be it. We could do silent movies today, but then y'all wouldn't know what I was saying. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's just strange. Hi, Bridget. At least we can see what we're looking at. We just can't tell what color it is. But it does give more detail, honestly, in the black and white to the stitches. Really, look at this. See how detailed it picks it up? So that little fluke there is seriously, whoa. Y'all seeing the same thing I'm seeing? Hope my camera hasn't gone to the fritz. I do too. I'll have Dennis look at it after class. Because that's not normal. No. Nah. That could be camera. If it is, then my camera is a goner. And I'll have to get a new one. <laughs> yeah. So. But yeah, it does give detail to those stitches. Thank you, Jill. Hi, Nikki. Hi. 
he'll look at it after class. He hasn't had a chance to do much of anything since we parked on Saturday. And there's a lot of stuff going on in his work. And he's inherited more jobs. Yeah. That is a good idea, Arlene. Seriously, taking a black and white picture to get the details. Because color will throw your eyes off. Seriously, throw them off. But this could be a camera issue. I hope not. I mean, I paid a chunk for this camera. But if it is, it just, that's the way the cookie crumbles and we get a new one. Uh, hi, Karen. Thank you for joining us. We got a couple of more minutes before everybody arrives. Today, we're going in black and white. That is not by choice. That is either we got a camera problem that I am unaware of because on my screen on the camera, it is showing in color. Or it could be a YouTube issue, and it could be something to do with the setting, anything. I don't know. Dennis has not had time to look at much of anything. I mean, we f yesterday fought with the internet just going. So, yeah, it's, it's a real battle. It's a struggle, let me tell you, folks. It's a struggle. Keeping everything going. Hi, Mary Jane. Hi, Carol. Western New York. Awesome. We got a lot of New Yorkers. We'll get started in a minute. Let's get everybody a chance. Yes, I have looked at the bath tatting book, and yeah, mm-hmm. Oh, thank you, Karen. You're so sweet. Tisha, rainy and foggy there in Brussels, Belgium. Awesome. Hi, Corinne. Southern California. Exactly, Susan. Sigrid. Canada, West Virginia, Pasha. And of course, I get all these mail updates. Are you cold over in the panhandle? I'm about midstream of Florida and it's cold here too. Awesome, Marianne. Pam got snow. I seen enough snow when I lived there, Pam. Mm -mm. Don't want to see it no more. Yeah, we thought we was going to have to turn the heat on last night. But it didn't get real cold here. Down to like 62. Of course, we don't run heat until it gets down to 60. So. Hi, Pam. Hi, Bev. Pam from Tennessee. East Tennessee. What part of Tennessee, Pam? Are you further away from Nashville to the east or Knoxville? Awesome. Yeah, Pam, you're you're getting snow today. You get snow and it's gone the next day. You're getting close to spring. Spring sprung here and I ain't stopped sneezing. We got to vacuum out all the windows because down in the grooves where the window glass fits, uh, pollen's building up. I got to get it all cleaned out. Got snow in Quebec. Exactly, Jill. Y'all are close. Pasha has a sister in Nashville. There's a threesome there. Uh, we got three takers. Anybody else for a get-together? Trish. 
trees are full bloom, flowers are bloom, and we get snow. That's par for the course, Pam. <laughs> I seen one year, I forget what year it was that we was up there, and everything bloomed. A big snow and ice storm came, killed it all, and then it bloomed again. And we had another ice storm, and it killed it all, and then it bloomed again. So we went through three springs in one year. It was awful. And then it, when it finally did do like it was supposed to, it was like, yeah, a week of spring. Summer's not here, you know? All right. That said, it is now 2.04 Eastern Standard Time. Sorry, I hit the desk with my elbow. It does not like it. Everything in this house moves. Um but that said, if you are not enrolled in the classes, you need to get enrolled. We have some perks for the students that you can get in on. We have challenges and competitions. And with that, we give away little prizes and goodies to the students. Also, you might learn a thing or two if you're a member of the class because you can belong to our Facebook group, which... We have a lot of very seasoned tatters that are in there that are helpful, give good advice, and walk you through troublesome times. Okay? So with that said, give us a like, give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll be notified when we go live or new content is put up. Also, we offer super chats, super thanks, super stickers, and memberships to those that want to be a member. Uh, we're still trying to work out the membership deal, what your perk will be for the membership. But trust me, we will make sure that it's worth your while. All right. But we're still working on that. So it's mostly super chats, super thanks, and super stickers. So if you find this content worthy of your time to watch, please make a donation because all donations go to the running of the classes as well as a scholarship fund to go for the Tat Days conventions. So with that all out of the way, make sure you subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell. And if you're not a student, Pam's posted up where to email to become a student. All right, we are tapping on the door, folks, of 4,500 students in total. That is people that have joined our web page, our YouTube channel, and the class. So we're looking at 4,500 students. Let's give a round of applause for all the hard work that Pam's been doing. I mean, I've worked her to death, folks. I have. So give her a thank you. And let's thank our moderators. They keep us all safe and away from those people that want to say things that aren't nice. So with that said, let's get into today's class. Hi, Allie. Hi, Karen. All right, Karen, I said hi. Everybody said hello. Oh, Pam, you're getting all kinds of love. Also, give her a big hug. Uh, she lost her little ba fur baby over the weekend. And she's had him quite a long time. So give her a little bit of love for that. All right. Now, with that said, if we're all backwards here, why, I don't know. But I sent you all some handouts here to print up. Okay. I want you all to print this out because we're Greek today. I can turn the camera around. Let me do that. I'm going to close the lens cap so y'all don't get dizzy. And I'm going to turn this camera around so we're not backwards. And we're going to work it this way. It'll be you all. It won't be. That's one of the fun perks of running a camera. And it's still backwards and upside down. Isn't it? Goodness gracious. There is something seriously going wrong. We're just going to have to deal with it the best way we can. Let me turn it back around because I'm eating camera and I don't like eating the camera. If it's going to be upside down and backwards, we want it at least backwards, not upside down. How's that? We're upside down. <laughs> Why this is doing this, I don't know. I'll have to work on it. 
anyway, if you've printed this out, let's give a good laugh because we're backwards day. Yeah, Arlene, let's, you did it. That's all just die laughing. You know, Murphy, he lives with me. I have to tell you, we have evicted the man. I know a hundred thousand times. Okay. And he still comes back. He says he likes my cooking. So I quit cooking. And we started eating sandwiches. Guess what? He's still stuck around. So there you go. <laughs> he lives with me. So the law of averages is if it, it's going to happen, it's going to happen here. All right. <laughs> so with that said, you have the original printout and then you have the revised printout. You need to print these out. Okay. Reason being with this challenge challenge of the doily pattern okay the round robin um you're gonna need to know these terms because we've got to write this pattern out all right so when we write out the additional rows the person that is picked and designed it needs to use the correct terms okay now there is a difference between, right? The original was four pages long. It goes into more detail, but it covers patterns that were made back then in 2006 and beyond, okay? So that you could understand the terms. Now, the terms change with the tide. Yeah, I know, Eve, we don't understand it. It's either a a YouTube problem or a camera problem. Not sure because my viewer on my camera says it's in color, but when it gets on the computer, it's black and white. And it could be my computer going bad. I'm not going to say it's not. If it is, then I have a backup. All right. So we're not worried about the computer. Camera, we are because those are very expensive to replace, but we do what we have to do. All right. So with that said, this here covers a little more in depth, but a lot of this people have swayed away from, but it's still out there. And with it being still out there, you need to know what these terms mean. Okay. So with that said, we're going to go through the terms together and then we're going to look at the new version and see what the difference is. Now, the nice thing about the older version is it gives you the standard symbols to use as well as the symbols for using beads. And if you're going to be adding beads to your patterns, this comes in handy. This tells you longhand written instructions, modern notation. There's a lot of information on the original version. Okay, if you get the second version, there's some new stuff. Okay, and I'm going to tell you a little thing about tatting and terms. They change with the tide and whoever is making it. Okay, same way with technique. We have seven different ways to do a split ring. Okay, we also have techniques that have seven different names. All right, there is nothing set for tatters. So this is why things change. And what Palmettos has done is they have just went and updated what they already had to the most common terms. Okay, but it's not a set deal. Thank you, Jill. Jill donated $4 to the classes. Awesome. Now, with that said... You know, we're going to get into some of these terms, and they're even new to me, okay? But thank goodness, they write out here what it's for. And then I can sit there and say, wait a minute, that used to be called so-and-so, okay? So if you get the basics, then you're doing good. The handwritten part. Wait a minute. This There was two printouts, Tasia. At the bottom, you had the two-pager. 
this one that was two pages. And then this one was the older version. It's four pages. Okay. So you need to print out both copies. Now, if you want to step back in time, okay, back to when Bath Tatting Book was written, okay, remember they didn't say Pico, they said Pearl. What else uses the term Pearl? Yes, two links in the docs. If you go to the uh, website, Tuja, both of them are listed. Yes, knitting uses pearl. Guess what? First half stitch. You know, they did things different back in the day. Okay. One of the things that they did is their picos came in in the middle of a stitch. They would do the first half of the stitch create the pico called pearl and then do the second half stitch. Most commonly you will see the way I tat is do the double stitch, a pico and a double stitch. Well, your traditional tatters do it the old way, the way that it was intentionally meant to be. But back in the day, they didn't use no terms, but double, double knot Okay, they didn't call it a double stitch, a double knot. Okay, and they said pearl. Also, didn't use chains that much. Chains didn't come into play till much later. Okay, and when they came into play, they had their own way of doing it. They just, when they reversed their work, they just kept doing the stitches the same way. They didn't do the front side, back side tatting. That was unheard of. Okay. But before chains came into play, it was bare thread space. I know you all have seen on the antique pattern library books that were dated back in 1800s. Most of those had bare thread space. And I got news for you. Joining to that bare thread space, if you're not careful, you can make a purse out of a dolly real fast. Because you're going to draw it up. Okay. So tatting the old way. Makes it hard. On new tatters. Where am I at? I am sitting in the middle of Florida. And it is 65 degrees currently. And sunny. So yeah. A little nippy here. But we had storms come through yesterday. Oh hey Jane. Yeah. I'm breaking. All kinds of craziness is going on. I don't understand it. I'm supposed to be in color, and yet it's black and white. And it's got color blips all over the screen. Dennis has got to look at stuff. I mean, it's a toss-up between computer, YouTube, and my camera. Eve, you're jealous? Well, come join me. We'll have coffee and tat together. So, back to tatting as it is. So with time, we have developed split rings. We've developed split chains. We've developed double and triple picos. And by the way, folks, those double and triple picos, they were back in the day too. They just didn't call them that. Okay. So with that, this is going to help you understand to a certain point. However, if you find yourself at a loss, there is resources in the files, and I've got to get them up, is more terms, and they're the older terms. I've just got to find it all, get it all put together, and get it up on the site. So if you need it, holler at me. I will locate it and send it to you directly. So no worries. I, it just takes, the pro, hard part about this is getting it processed, getting it all condensed up, getting it cleaned up, make sure all the links and everything's working, getting it up on the site. Now, I have been putting files up 
pattern files that have bad links, okay? Reason I've done that is because those links are in the files, okay? So I have to dig those links out, get them in where they need to go, and then update the PDF. I can do that, okay? I cannot change the pattern itself, but I can change the links, okay? Legally do that. So just give me time. If you run across something, you find a pattern, you want to do it, and you need the link for something in that pattern, let me know. I will send you the file. Just know that it's not ready to go up yet. All right? So, but you'll get the file. So if you need anything, don't hesitate to ask. Pam's got a laundry list to do. And one of them is make sure I get the information I need to get you the information you need. So, with that said, let's go through some of these. Let's look at the older version compared to the new version. The new version here, okay, this is the parentheses one, okay? And here it gives more clarification to what the parentheses is. Clarification for joining usually, and see it doesn't say anything over here about joins. Example, ring, join, which a plus is a join. And then parentheses tells you where you're going to join at. And then it gives the rest of the pattern. Okay. On this one, it says where you're going to join at. All right. But it also can have directions or information for other things in parentheses. Okay, like continue on and do this. You know what I'm saying? So with that, it's not strictly for joining. It is continuation. Okay, so again, here we go. Let's see the next one, a forward slash. That is for split rings. Let's see what we've got here for split rings. All right, here we go page two of the four page deal split ring right here sr okay now they've shortened it somebody in a pattern shortened it to just the hash mark okay so now we have to include the hash mark my question ladies is when you're doing a pattern up why do we have to reinvent the wheel when the split ring comes out in directions with the hash mark. So why must we reinvent the wheel? Okay. Put that on there. Here's your split ring. Okay. Example, five pico five split, five pico five. The split is this little hash mark, you know, the backward slash or forward slash, whichever one you want to call it. And then over here, we've shortened it to the forward slash. Why reinvent the wheel when you're doing your patterns? Because all that does is confuse people. And if you're selling your patterns on Etsy, and I do this myself, and I know of several tatters that do it as well. I look at a pattern, I see it, and I say, okay, I like it. And then I purchase that pattern, and then I get the download. And it's like, seriously, why did you write this pattern this way? And there is no diagram to follow. So I have to sit there, and I have to work up my own diagram. Well, if I have to do the work, why did I pay you for the pattern? Do you see where I'm coming from? So make your patterns readable, legible, and I easy. Okay? Simplified. Try your best not to confuse your customers if you're selling your patterns. Don't use 50 different terms to get the point across. Simple is best. There is a saying called kiss. And what that means is keep it simple, stupid. 
Okay. And the stupid person is you because you want to throw all this literature out there to confuse people. And that is one of the things that will irritate a tatter. And you will make a bad name for yourself by doing that. See, Kathleen bought one and she, her answer was, it's frustrating. Yes, it is. <clears throat> Not everybody wants to draw out a pattern or fix a pattern. Make sure if you're going to sell patterns on Etsy, you have them patterns test tatted by someone besides yourself. Okay, because with you testing your own patterns, what happens is you already know what you're going to do. Someone that's not seen that pattern doesn't know what you're going to do. They have to figure it out. Okay, so given that forethought, get somebody you can trust that won't take your pattern and give it away to the world. Okay. You have to have someone that you can trust wholeheartedly and confidentially, okay? Don't just hire willy-nilly and expect it to be kept a secret. Because if you're doing this to sell, you don't want everybody to get it free. Because that's defeating the purpose of the Etsy shop, right? So, unless you're giving things away... <clears throat> Make sure you CYA. Yes, simple and larger for older tatters. I got news for you. I've forgotten more than I can remember. How many tatters can say that? Think about that. Because as we age, our brains are not as comprehensive as they used to be at a younger age. We can do all kinds of this games and things like that, but it's not going to stop the natural order of things. So yeah, our memories get bad. So why do we have to jump over hoops, drive through tunnels, create bridges just to tat a dolly? We don't. We want it to look good. We want it to look pretty. But we don't need to confuse the tatter. That's a good thought, Eve. Uh, there are some older patterns that don't have charts or complete terms or complete patterns because they've been lost in the shuffle. Anything that is out of print or out of copyright, you can redo without getting in trouble, okay? But don't go selling old patterns and claiming them as yours. Make sure you put on there, it's a der derivation or derivation. I cannot say that word for life nor money. Okay, you know what I'm talking about. Make sure you tell people that this was an old pattern and you brought it up to date to meet modern terms so they can understand how to tat it. That it's not one you designed. Okay, I don't care who designed it. Arlene, the bath tatting book has clear explanations so you can figure out the pattern. But if you take a pattern out of the bath tatting book and you rewrite it with modern terms, it is not a new pattern, folks. It's not a new one. It is the same pattern, just modern terms. And you need to say such. You can't claim it as your work because it's not. You didn't think this pattern through. You did not work this pattern out. It's someone else's work you're bringing into modern times. Does that make sense to everybody? Because that's where you step on copyright toes, even though it's not under copyright. And there are people, especially seasoned tatters, that take offense to people that make New patterns from old patterns, only changing the terms. Now, you can take an old pattern and embellish it and create it differently and make it your own. That you can. But it has to be at least 30% different from the original pattern before it does not violate copyright. 
And even though it's out of date and out of copyright, it's still a copyright violation. <clears throat> Hi, Tasneem. Right, Katia, you've got it. It's a revamp of the old pattern. You're not reinventing that pattern, okay? Um, reinventing a pattern is taking a pattern that's a dolly and making a vase. How did you go about changing that pattern so it would shape into a vase, a tatted vase? Right, Arlene, right. Hi, Harala. So, with that said, is it fair to change the wording so that people can understand those older patterns? Yes, it is fair because the terms, just these two are so different, it's night and day. Okay? So, therefore, you need both printouts so you can understand. Because, as you can see, just with the split ring, they condensed that sucker down to where it's just a little slash on a piece of paper. I got news for you. I don't like that. You want to know why? Because how many of you have made no notes and marks on your paper? What if you made a hash mark like that on a part of the pattern? And then later down the road, oh, that's a split ring. Because that's what you see is the hash mark. So sometimes you can get too simple and create problems. But there is a fine medium that everybody can follow, there will never be, and this is the gospel, a termination book for the terms, okay? We're not going to finalize these terms ever. Crochet has finalized terms. Knitting has finalized terms. Beadwork has finalized terms. Um, filet crochet, finalized terms. So, there you go. Hi, Karen. So, with that said, you can see the difference between the two. If you go through, you will see the best patterns to follow. And I'm going to show you come straight from here. These with the pretty pictures. See, when you use these as a pretty picture, okay? Look, all these, I can read those on a glance. Right. You got that right, Katia. That's okay, Teresa. Hi, John. You're not late. Nobody's late. You're just right on time. So, <clears throat> learn your terms. Now, we have a winner. Okay, Brenda. I keep forgetting. I mean, we've, we've taught 4,500 students, folks. So, names run together. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. Um, but we have a winner on the round robin. Okay. And... The winner is, and I have to get a hold of her, Pam, I'm going to let you announce in the chat who the winner is. And then I'll repeat it in English. <laughs> yeah, we got either a computer, a camera, or a YouTube problem, everybody that stepped in. Uh, we're black and white with splotchy color, but yet on my monitor screen for my camera, I'm in color. So, don't know. By landslide. So, 
So it is Natalie, the creator of the cards. So with that said, I have to get with Natalie and get her to get me the stitch count. We've got to work on it because this last round, here is where we're going to have a problem where it joins down here at the bottom. My suggestion is going to be leave some negative space and just join across the top. Let's see what she can do here with that pattern to give us enough negative space to lighten it up. All right, because we need, we're, and Stephen said this, yes, we are heavy. We're pattern heavy. We don't have enough negative space to really bring out that pattern, okay? The color that everybody chose is, I'll get the color number. Anybody know the name of that color? 696. Let me look that up real quick. I don't have my handy hands color chart with me. So let's see. shopping. Let's do a search. Autumn orange, that is the color. Now, the thing of it is, with it being such another heavy round, is the autumn orange going to look right? We don't know. It's trial and error, okay? The trial and error is we have to try it. If it doesn't look right, then we have to back off of that color and step into another color because we want it to blend without a problem. Also, we're going to have to use our blipless join so that our color differences do not show on our joining areas. Okay? Because we don't want that to show on the back side. All right? So that will be our Catherine Will join area this next round okay so everybody give her a big round of applause for winning she knows how to work the cards that's all i can tell you <laughs> so that is what we're going to need for our next round we need some negative space here and we're going to have to use these instructions so that we can get everybody on the same page with the terms, okay? So I've got to get with her. It'll probably be next week before we can start the next round because we got to write it up, okay, and fix it in. Everybody has an opportunity to give input to Natalie, okay? If you don't like something, let her know. Because you're testing this for her. The next round that we do round four, or this is round four, isn't it? Yeah, we're on round three. We're doing round four, correct? And then the next round, round five, if we choose to go that far, then we'll need another color that blends well, okay? I want each round from here on out to reflect something different so we can draw in the colors from the center. All right. Now, also, I have another announcement to make beginning April 1st, I believe. Let me check my calendar over here. Yes, April 1st through the end of April, we will be shut down for spring break. Um, Dennis and I have a lot of personal business to handle while we're down here in Florida. And we want to get it out of the way so it quits interrupting our lives. 
okay? Uh, we've got dentists, doctors, we've got eye doctors, we've got vets, we've got you name it, okay? So, so we have to get all that that comes with changing residency. You got to get all that moved with you. And we just haven't had an opportunity with everything that else that has come up. Plus, the rig has to go into the shop for a couple of weeks. Hopefully, a couple of weeks. If it's going to be longer than that, then we've got to revisit that. So, what we're going to do is we're going to rent a cabin. So, I'll be able to teach from the cabin. Okay? But, like I say, we've got to get work done on the rig. We have to get all these things out of the way, personal business out of the way. So we're taking the full month of April to do that. Okay. Cause we don't want to be sitting here so far South in Florida when the heat comes on. I mean, 104, 105 in one of these rigs is not a picnic, even with three air conditioners, folks, I'm telling you, it can roast and toast you real fast. Okay. And I've got two little dogs. The last thing I want to do is be hung up in the camper with the dogs. And it's so hot outside, we can't stir them. Okay. A was Natalie's, wasn't it, Pam? Let me look. Yep, A was Natalie's. So there you go. So, any questions about terms? Because we need you to use the correct terms on your pattern samples. Okay? Because this marks the start of the new class setup. What we're okay. I'm getting you prepared. I have some older books that have beautiful patterns that need to be brought up to date in terms. Okay. You need diagrams for them too. Now not all of you can do diagrams. There are some that can. We have uh, a program you can use, okay? Oh, it was A. Susan, it was A. Uh, we have a program you can use to create diagrams with, okay? I've used it. I just use the basic, you know, this is what I want it to look like, and then I put my numbers in. Some people go into the in-depth because you can with the program, and it is free. Others use Netscape. Uh, there are some that use Corel Draw. There are some that use Photoshop. I know Photoshop's not anymore, but some people still use it. They have computers that are old enough that can use it. <laughs> Tasneem, you're funny. You saw her video? Yeah, I'm going to have to talk to her about putting a video out. You can't put a video out. <laughs> Hers is technically challenging, so it's going to be good practice for you guys, I believe. I really do. But back to the terms. When we get involved in to updating these new patterns and stuff, I have a series of books in mind that I have looked over and looked through many, many, many times. And we have the series on hand in the files, okay, that we are going to be able to work through as a group, okay? And then we can rewrite it with new terms. Would you miss, Jill?
Now, there's not going to be a class tonight because we have discovered something in these overcrowded campgrounds. I sent Pam pictures of how close we are here. Um, let's put it this way. We're so close that if I sneeze, the guy next door gets a shower. Okay, I'm being quite honest. When I showed Pam the picture, she was like, oh, my God, you're just stuck in there. They backed us in here. I don't know how we're getting out without taking out four campers with us. We are that tight. So, yeah, when we get ready to pull out on Saturday, I'm calling them up. So you put us in here and get us out now. All right, Pam, do you have the link to her pattern? Her pattern video of where she, I know I sent it to you. I just can't find it right now on my computer. I got like 15 windows open right now. Natalie's video. Why do I have 15 windows open while well, we're copying things? Because we're shutting down one of the drives. Okay, share the link to Natalie's video in the class so everybody can get it. Yeah, I mean, you know, no harm, no foul, really. She just gave herself an edge that nobody else had, which is an unfair advantage, I'll be honest with you, but it happens. But I'll get with her and then we'll have the start of the round four next week because we've got one, two, and this is the third round, the actual the next round will be round four. And I promise when I take the picture for the backdrops on everything, I'll make sure it's in color. <laughs> this, I don't understand. I really don't. Something's messed up. We've got a thing that hooks up to the router that runs into my computer. And yesterday it was giving us fits. It could be that thing that's messed up. All right. Posted. Um, let me see if I can find it. It's on her page. Let me see. It's on her YouTube channel. To be honest. Here we go. It could be, Jeremy. I don't know. Dennis will look at it after class. And, you know, we've been thinking this computer's got a headache. If it does, I just have to break down and get a new computer. Because I'll be using the backup. And I really am not crazy about that backup computer. I got it. Thanks, Tasneen. So, with that said, study these terms, both the new version and the old version, because you're going to come across them, all right? If you're working on an older pattern and you need some helpers, let me know. Hopefully, I can get that stuff up within the next week. Well, I'd like to get it up before we start the rework of some patterns, okay? 
and uh, I'm going to pick the book and we're just going to rewrite it. And the thing of it is, is we're going to pick what we're going to design with those old patterns. Okay. What we're going to create from them and go from there. Georgia did a 52 earring project and then she did a bracelet project. You know, we could really do a necklace project. We can do trims, whatever you guys want to do. We just want to rework those patterns so people of today can enjoy those older patterns because they are beautiful. They are absolutely beautiful patterns. And um, that way you all can see we can do towels, you know, kitchen towels, bath towels, things like that with it. All right. So with that said, are there any questions for anybody? Again, thank you to all of my moderators. Y'all are doing a wonderful job. The uh, round robin class will be tomorrow, not today, because, yeah, getting out to, well, we're having a hard time streaming TV. We have cable here, but we have our shows that come on TV that, you know, aren't on the cable here. So we stream those and we can't even stream at eight o'clock. So yeah, it's just not going to work as long as it's so overcrowded. It's just not going to work. So we're just going to run the classes from here to April 1st at the Tuesday and Wednesday time slot of two o'clock. All right. Thank you guys. I appreciate every one of you. You're just my peeps. I love you to death and I wish you all. Happy tatting, and may all your threads never tangle, but make beautiful lace. All right? So, I'll see you all tomorrow, 2 o'clock, for the round robin class. Thank you all. Right. Exactly. It's normal to make mistakes. We all make them. Hey, that's what gives you laughter. All right. I will see you all tomorrow. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.